Hello everybody, Cheesy here, and it's time for another screencast. The topic of today's screencast is cucumber transformations. And so let's begin by talking about what transformations are. I have a simple scenario here, and you can see that all I'm doing is just printing some values. If I go to the step definitions, you could see that that literally is all I'm doing is just taking the value that's passed in and printing it out. Now, those of you who have used Cucumber for a while, you know that everything that's passed in, whenever you create a capture group like this with the parentheses around it, it takes the variable that is inside of the parentheses and it assigns it to the parameter that's passed into your block. Cucumber by default passes everything as a string. So when I run these scenarios, what you'll see is it is literally printing today, yesterday, tomorrow, five days from today, seven days ago. So what transformations are is some code that you can add that is applied to the value from the time it's taken out of here before it's assigned to the parameter passed to your block. It's something that I don't use all the time, but I do from, from occasion find it really nice to be able to do that. For example, here when we're doing date processing, it's very convenient to be able to say today or yesterday or seven days from today and have it actually assign a date to your parameter. So we're going to see how to do that. And I'm going to start by writing my first transformation. So I'm going to create a new file in the support directory called transformations.rb. And inside of this file, I'm going to put a transformation and it begins by a call to that. Transform. And then we create our uh, regular expression. And in this case, we're going to create the one for today. And we're going to pass it in. So notice how I had to create a capture group even inside of this. And that is a requirement that Cucumber imposes on us. So basically what it's going to do though is it's going to take the value here and it's going to place it here. Let's go ahead and write out, write the code for this. And when I run this, when I run my scenarios again, notice that the printout for the first one actually prints today's date. In fact, if we look at the steps, it actually put a date in that date uh, in the, the today parameter. Now let's talk a little bit about how this works. What it's doing is when it gets to the capture group called today, it checks to see are there any transformations in which the regular expression matched that. And of course, this one here absolutely does. And so it decides to execute this code on the value that it extracts from here. Take the results of this block and assign it to the to the uh, parameter passed into our step definition block. That literally is all there is to it. There's a little bit more to learn here, though, so I'm going to go through and do the others. Let's go ahead and do yesterday. Now, I could write another transformation here, except yesterday is going to be pretty straightforward. It's going to be somewhat similar to today. So what I'm going to do is just take the same one and just go ahead and uh, modify my transformation here to handle today or yesterday. And when I run it, you'll notice that I'm now handling yesterday. It's printing today's date and it's printing yesterday's date, Oop, except what I should have done for yesterday is subtract one. Okay, well, let's go ahead and do that. Today's date and yesterday's date, there we go. So I think I could do the same thing for tomorrow. Let's go ahead and add that in. And this time I do want to add since tomorrow. And with that simple code, I've actually handled t yesterday, today, and tomorrow, and it is passing the date to me. So let's take a look at one that's just a little bit more complex. So here, notice I have some number of days from today, and we have used the 
So let's write a, a transformation for this and see what that looks like. So in this case, I want my capture group here to only get the day. And again, you can see that I am clearly displaying five days from today. The last one that I'm going to add is my days ago. So as you see, transformations are very, very easy to implement, very easy to write. And uh, again, I don't think that you're going to use these a lot, but it's good to know that they're available for those times whenever it makes sense for you to use them. That's all I had. Hope you enjoy it.